Hello and welcome to a quick review of the uh, updates and some cool new features in Complete PBX version 5.04. Let's start. First of all, you can see the uh, search box is a bit nicer. And when I search, now it clears automatically so I can go to the, ne the next search immediately. Okay, next we've uh, enabled trunk to trunk connections. So right now I can add a trunk as a destination in inbound routes. Let's see, I have this one trunk configured in the system. And now if I go to inbound routes and I want to create an inbound route, I will see in destination also trunks as an option. And I'll see my available trunks right now, it's only one. So here I've created a, an inbound route with a trunk as destination. This may be useful, for example, if I want to connect my complete PBX system to a legacy system. Okay, let's say there's a user that has a big legacy system. They're not ready to uh, get rid of it as of yet, but they want to expand it. They want to add functionality. They want to add extensions or whatever, uh, for whatever reason they want to connect complete PBX. This is a neat and easy way to do that. So now you can add a trunk as an inbound route destination. Next, let's go to extensions. In extensions, we've added auto suggest next extension number. So as you can see here, uh, when I go to a new extension, add extension dialog, I see a suggested extension number, which will also be the suggested user device number. So all I have to do basically, if I want to create a new extension is simply to type in the name. The name will also automatically uh, be the device description. All these things I can change manually, but if I really want to do the minimum, I just have to hit enter extension is saved next extension enter extension is saved let's look for hank now here he is henry hank mccoy that's his extension of course we can go and change any other parameter later but you see just to add a simple extension uh, requires me now only to add a name hit enter and that's it you may have also noticed that now we have this green bar here at the bottom. This is a um, password strength indicator. So the uh, passwords are auto-suggested and they're strong passwords. But let's say for some reason I want to type my own password, which is one, two, three. Highly, highly unrecommended because this is not a secure setup. And you see that you have a red bar. Let's make it a bit more complex. Okay, and now this bar becomes orange, still not good enough. Let's make it more complex yet. Now it's a good enough password, strong and safe, and we can use it as our SIP password. Last but not least, we've added a set of PBX status reports. Here, for example, we see the trunk we've configured. You will see all this all the peers so here we have sip peers okay their status port and so forth uh, here of course no one is actually connected so everything is unknown and we don't have too much information but if they are connected we will have all this information available hints voicemail boxes and their status and queues and their information. So these are some of the uh, new features we've introduced. I hope you like it, enjoy, and thank you very much.